AJ, Anthony Joshua, and Tyson Fury. So here we go, it shall be done here and now as we get to the start of round one. Yes, we have Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Incredible to think this never happened in a boxing round, but it's gonna happen in the UFC. We'll see if Joshua's technical prowess will be enough or if Fury can overwhelm him as he did so many opponents in the boxing setting over the years. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. Now he gets back to range. Lands flush with that right hand. Straight right hand now just misses. Ooh. Oh! Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Tyson Fury. Nice strike landed there by Anthony Joshua. Just over three minutes now to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. That's a good right hand right there. Fury's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. That one was supposed to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Whiffs on that offering. Swing and a miss by Anthony Joshua. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the roll. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he landed the right hand there. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, these 
Those are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw exactly in the hole, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. This is unbelievable. Thirteen steps in. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.